Hello YouTube, this is CarGhostLayer247 and today we are here to play some Skyrim. Hello. And uh, I just got the book of Ophma Infinium and when I read it, it said I could uh, uh, follow three paths and I picked the path of Might and when I picked that path, my smithing went up and I could level up now because it, level, it le fully leveled me up. Uh, what should I pick? Stamina or health? I think I'll pick stamina because stamina is stamina's like oh my god, two levels. Stamina again, 170. Look at my perks to increase, six of them. Uh, as you can see, my smithing is 55, so that's actually good. Uh, I got I can do dwarven smithing, orcish. This one is actually 80, and this is the one I'm trying to target here, the Adric armor. So yeah, um, but to make those, oh crap, but to make those armor more lightweight, these armors are heavy armor from smithing, so let me just see where the thing is, heavy armor, okay, so I gotta follow this path over here to Fist of Steel, oh crap, oh my god, okay, to so Fist of Steel, this, and then this condition. And to actually get my heavy armor up, my heavy armor was like less than 50, but I know it's 61, which is kind of useful for my thing over here to level up. So yeah, but first things first, I have to level up to the Diadric armor, which is up here. Oh no, wait, that's dragon armor, right here. And then to dragon armor. So I'll show you a way to actually level up those things quickly. Um, This was one way to actually level up your thing from five levels and level you up. Um, it was actually from a quest from Septimus, uh, north northern side from northern side from what's his name? The oh the College of Winterhold, the northern side of College of Winterhold. So I'm in White Run right now, and the College of Winterhold is north east over here. This is College of Winterhold, and Septimus is like all the way up here. You can pause the video if you want and try to find this place, Septimus, right now. I'll give you three seconds. Okay, so that's it. That's the three seconds you'll get. Um, now, we're gonna actually go to White Run. And I'll show you to how to level up your thing quickly. How to level up your thing. I have a spell called Transmute and it actually levels up your your smithing very fast. I'm going to show you what it looks like so you would know what it is. So right now I'm actually level 30. I leveled up two times because of that thing, the glitch, which is kind of cool. You might want to save up the Infinium to a later uh, level. Um, The limit on the levels in Skyrim is actually 81. I have a long way to go, so yeah, and I still have a lot of quests to do. I still have to do the Thief Gold. Um, I still gotta do the Imperils, the Storm Cloaks, the College of Winterhold, everything like that. And I think I'll buy the DLCs in this game because I really like the DLC designs. Okay, so what you wanna do is actually I'm gonna go to Magic. It's an alteration spell. It's right here. Transmute. Transmutes and piece of unrefined iron ore to silver ore, silver ore or to silver ore to gold if the caster is carrying any. So I'm gonna go to my items and go to misc and I'm gonna go to my iron ore. So as you can see I have 36 iron ore and my silver ore I have well I have no more silver ore because I used it a lot. So yeah, um, so I'm going to equip this spell transmute, so I can actually, there we go, transmute, and what you want to do is just click on this, and it will say at the top, or added, you can say, see it over there, so when it, you want, you want to keep doing it, that's, that's the best strategy in the game, so yeah, um, well, actually, yeah. I don't claim to take a look. And I'll show you a glitch to how to um iron, iron ore. I'll add two iron ore and a silver ore. Okay, there we go. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Uh -huh. 
Okay, one more time. Boom, gold ore. So if you think you got enough golden ore, go to the smelter. Go to miss and go to, down to gold ingot. I got 10. Just keep pressing A. There you go. And then what you want to do is actually go to the blacksmith forge and go down to jewelry and go to gold uh, ring. And as you can see down there, uh, my smithing is leveling up pretty slowly, but it's actually useful. Boink. Now my smithing is like really big. As you can see, look at that, I leveled up a lot. Golden ring, gold ring is not that really big. So there might be some other things here that might get your thing bigger or something. Silver, as you can see, you need silver ingots to actually make it. So let me just try it out. I'm going to buy some silver ingots from the lady over here. She has some silver ingots. And see how much uh, spaces it takes for my leveling thing. I, what did she say? Iron ingots or steel ingots? Okay, let me just check. Let me just check. I forgot. Silver, okay. I think she doesn't have any silver. She got steel and iron, okay, then never mind. Okay, so if you made the rings, you want to go to apparel and dump them all out because you don't need them. And I'll show you this glitch to actually get unlimited. Uh, ores and silver ores and all that in this shop over here. This works for other shops I think as well. So yeah I'm just gonna do it right here. Yes. Okay. So what you wanna do So you wanna go to his place over here and go to his oh crap not mines. Go to his iron, buy all his iron ore and silver ores. And what you want to do is leave his conversation, leave his conversation, go next to him over here. Um, save the game. And save to War Maiden. And then just kill him, just kill him. And then after that, go to your load game that you just saved like three seconds ago from War Maiden. If you messed up from doing this process, I'm sorry. Um, I'm really sorry, but yeah, it's not my fault. It's actually your fault because you're not following correctly. But if you did it correctly and you loaded, you will be fine. So what you want to do is talk to him again. Take a look. And come over here. And he has, see, as you can see, more iron ore. And actually, um, don't worry about uh, Bethesda, right. the company that made the game. They're not going to actually, they're actually not going to um, uh, patch this game anymore. Because, you know, it's already out. You can't patch a game that is from a disc. You can actually just, you know, update it once. So yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, so let me just... Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, and uh, if this helped you, uh, please subscribe and like. And please uh, stay tuned in my channel because I'll be making more Skyrim videos for you guys because I feel like doing it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and Cargo Slayer is out. Bye.